Oh, okay, Petey. So we got the caboose. We brought it to the coal mine. We switched out the cargo in the caboose and we left it in its place. What's next, Petey? You're not real bright, are you, Lynn? The next part of the plan is very sensitive, as it is only known to you, my brother Pauly, myself, and the boss. It involves a stop the conductor routinely makes on his way to Denver when he doesn't have passengers. When the train stops at McKernan's Mill, that's when we implement the next part of the plan. You ready to eat, Lynn? Oh, okay, Petey. I'm all ears and teeth. Hey there, hey there, bro. Break out, break out, old five, break out, old five. The boss told me to call AJ. AJ, is AJ out there? Yes, I'm right here. Hey there, AJ. We want to see if the uh, track, the uh, westbound track to uh, by Pine, Pine Cliff, Pine Cliff, is that clear tonight? Yes, it's not working. Just, just verifying. Thank you very much, AJ. We appreciate you. The boss will for, but definitely remember you. Yes, sir. And after dinner, the conductor gets back in the engine, heads eastbound back down to Denver's Union Station, and once they arrive there, Polly takes over. It's important you understand your obligations, Lynn, particularly making sure that track's clear. Do you understand, Lynn? 
That's great, that's great, then. And since it appears you have no questions, I'll ask you to leave me. Hey, boss. Get ready to be happy. I see the steamer and the caboose. They're on their way in now. Thank you very much, Polly. I'm having a good day. Please let Lanny know I need to see him tomorrow.